What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage and today we're going to talk about how to steal gas. <laughs> guys welcome on back to TK's garage and today we're gonna talk about how people are actively stealing gas oh my god TK is gonna ruin it for everybody this is very similar to like some of the videos we've done in the past where we talk about how people steal Mopars and I go through some of the processes that are used to steal this fuel and specifically today we're not gonna talk about like pump swap scams where people swap handles or anything like that we're going to talk about how people are actively getting fuel and some different stories on how people are getting fuel uh, from these gas pumps for free or pennies on the dollar yeah now the other method is a little bit more in depth and it does use computer systems and these quote unquote clickers are um, being more and more available to get your hands on them when you probably shouldn't. I'm not gonna get into specific I'm not gonna get into specifics on how to acquire one of these clickers. I'm not gonna do that and I'm calling it a clicker. I'm a Boston guy that is what it is. Um, you know it's a remote and a lot of these pumps and systems specifically at um, Chevron, Texaco, and Vallejo stations all use the same system. I don't know. I don't think I was supposed to say that. Oh, well. I said it. So basically what happens is you can go directly up to the pump. And this is the same clicker system, the same remote system that somebody from maybe the Department of Agriculture would use. Now, they're not the same clicker. They're just operating on the same frequency. It's no different than when somebody copies the signal from your key fob and makes your car think that it's an actual key fob when it's really just repeating the signal from somewhere else. This isn't really a repeater. It's basically another remote on the same frequency that it's kind of like a counterfeit remote, basically is how this works. So a prime example is gas at the Chevron station is currently $5.59. Well, I can't get, I gotta be very careful how I show you how this works. I can just stand here and with the wonderful click of a button, voila. Now, I don't condone doing this. I'm just trying to show how easy it can be done now when you adjust the price on that in some of these systems like that have at chevron and texaco and vallejo when you use one of these devices you can actually when you change the price it actually changes the price everywhere so it's not just the one pump all the pumps and the sign will change in real time now a lot of people will say this is impossible there's no way this is real i mean i i guess you want to say that we photoshopped it? Uh, sorry. Anywho's, it is really that simple. Now, obvious for obvious reasons, I'm not showing you where I'm pointing this clicker at the gas station, which we're here now. I'm obviously not going to show you the brand, and I'm obviously not telling you where to get it. But all I can tell you is everything is on the internet. When people ask me all the time, how do I figure these things out? Everything is on the internet. It's all publicly available information. Now, this should be a major wake-up call to like gas stations, oil companies, departments of agriculture for all 50 states. 
that they should make their systems a little bit more secure. Now, I don't have any ill intentions, and no, I'm not going out here to change the gas prices at gas stations or pumps so that people can get free gas. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. That's theft. It's illegal. But I wanted to show that it is something that is easily done, and it's um, ridiculous that it's that simple. And um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping Chevron, Texaco, Vallejo, th there's a couple other, um, Valero, I said Vallejo, I'm sorry, Valero. Um, and there's a couple other companies that use a different system that are also on the same thing, like um, Shell, Circle K, and even Circle Ks that don't use Shell, and I forget what the other brand is, but there's several of these brands that all use the same systems, all right? And if it's that easy for me in 30 minutes to research and find out where to buy one of these and do this and be able to do that, I'm sure this is happening much often, much more often than it's being reported in the news. So, um, speaking of, there was people in Florida, four people in Florida just got cracked for doing this exact same thing manipulating the prices to get the fuel for like two cents a gallon, shit like that. I don't condone that. That's theft. Um, some people think cheating is okay, but it's not cheating. It's still theft. You know, the gas station owners had to pay for that fuel. So with that said, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, I think it's really ridiculous that with the click of a couple buttons that anybody can manipulate a gas station and its gas prices. Crazy, huh? Oh, and before one of you rat bastards asks, yeah, the price is back to normal. I didn't leave it there. Have a nice day. guys so for full disclosure this is like two hours after i shot the video um my attorney said that i need to say that this is for informational purposes only or entertainment purposes only um i'm not condoning nor do i think you should go out to any gas pump and you know google for one of these clickers and go change the gas prices and screw gas stations i'm not um this is kind of like a public service announcement so that gas stations and these companies can learn really quickly that they need to tighten up and that unfortunately what that's probably going to mean is a lot of places at night are going to shut their pumps off because you know someone can just roll up change the price swipe their credit card you know they're an idiot and um you know end up paying three cents a gallon for fuel and fill their vehicle up so that's like i said public service announcement informational purposes only entertainment purposes only now we can leave i know a marvel outtake at the end of a tk's garage video or a 